Hello guys and welcome to part 3 already of the Yamato 2199 build the 1500 scale version um, on this part similar to the previous part we'll be doing sub assemblies but we'll be doing the smaller stuff uh, simply put because the big stuff gets in the way um, point of note last time I had forgotten to point these out now this is the one that comes with the kit, this is the one that comes with the optional hanger, but the bit that needs to be attached is this little bit here. Luckily on the other side there is also a bit like that, so I'm going to start off with that. A bit boring, but needs to be done. And this is where it turns out, I've put that bit to the side, doesn't it? Uh, nope, got it right here. There we go. So um, that bit three holes, three teeth to line it up to. And then squeeze it into place nice and tightly. And then what I did on all the other on all the other two as well is me extra thin. There you go. You can make a nice big doll, but just make sure you put it in this edge. It gets drawn in very nicely and it will create a, a nice seal between that area to paint over. Um, it did not quite work out on the one that came with the rotary hanger, so I had to do that again today. Uh, but as you can see, it's now nice and clean line, which should be able to hold paint. No little holes or anything like that. And on the kit parts, on the original kit parts, there's no problem whatsoever. So uh, yeah, that's the bit I forgot, but pretty straightforward really. So uh, on to the next part, uh, which is this. This is the central uh, island uh, where all the where, where the command uh, structure goes, where the bridge goes, and stuff like that. So what we'll be doing is building up the bridge. So. Normally, uh, you would want to place the turrets in here before placing that because you've got this narrow area here. But I need a bit more light here. Turn that around. There we go. Uh, but what I have noticed is that um, you can actually still place them in. Uh, what I'll just have to do is uh, shave off the little pins that go in here just a bit so I got a bit, bit more wiggly room uh, so I don't scrape off paint. Um, so I'll be placing these in anyway. So just like that. Just This is basically these are mirror parts so I'll just be putting that one in already did the other one. Just line up these teeth with the holes. Fairly tight fit as you can tell. And there you go. So, points of note with this is I will be putting in a dollop of glue to have a nice clean seal here. Uh, on the bottom there's a perfect seal on both ends as you can see. Uh, but if you put a big enough, big dollop of glue here it will get there as well. So, um, I might be filling up these though in the back because these will be visible. These are clearly uh, gaps, so uh, just a tiny bit of filler. Maybe leave a, a hint of panel line to them uh, as the filler protracts and shrinks a bit into the, the seam. Uh, so that dollop of glue. It's going to run along nicely here. Just 
squeeze it all out. There we go, that should be nice and clean by the time that dries. So, now we've got our base prepped. What do we do next is we build bits of the conning tower. And I'll keep my manual to the hand because this is uh, takes a bit of thinking. So, uh, do, 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 do. first you start off with the very, very top bit uh, right here. So the part that's way on the top of the ship. So get this little to the side again, I suppose. Get this little piece here. And then after that, we need to do some assembly on another small piece. Now there's three basic sections and they all, except for the very very top part, this one, uh, they all more or less follow the same logic in building, uh, as you'll soon uh, find out. And as soon as can, yeah, there we go. So remember these bits, uh, these are two halves, mirror halves, and this goes in between. And remember these, this little assembly, because that's going to come back two more times in just slightly different sizes, or at least one more time, if I'm not mistaken. Um, which is why I said uh, all follows a similar logic. So what you want to do is slot in this little piece here. And what I will do, I won't slot it completely home myself. It's a very loose fit, so a bolt of glue into the hole there. And there we go. And then just take the other part, which is here. A bit closer. And that before it completely touches on the bottom. A bolt of glue. Squeeze it together. Like so. A bit of glue from the bottom there, no worries. But do be careful with glue fingers because you would ruin detail on this quite quickly. That's it. No longer need to touch that. On the back, uh, this part goes on. So put that nice little taps to a line. Not really much you can do wrong, just need to make sure this is the orientation of the part. So these little Square areas always face up, uh, except on this part, which is flat area. So, anyway, but uh, on all the other bits, uh, yeah, stop waffling. This area faces up, so pin faces up as well. And then just very carefully, and there's a tight fit apparently. This is the other way around. Oh, wait, no, I lie. It is the other way around, so the big extension goes downward. And the pin goes upward and went nearly together. And bolt of glue. Just zoom in there so slightly there. And then just squeeze it together. Glue has seeped in where it needs to seep in. And there you go. And just this part on top of that. Very easy to align, as you can see, a little square, a little hole, a little, uh, the other, no, the rectangle and the little square, sorry. There we go. And again, right before it sets. Completely shut. Dot the glue. Bigger piece, so I'm going to do two on different sides of the part. There you go, and if a little bit goes next to it, there's no worry, it'll leave a mark on the plastic. 
but I'm painting anyway. Uh, if you're not painting, try to avoid using glue, really. Um, or just do a little bit on, on, on the bottom side of the part to uh, adhesion. The way I'm doing it, which is mostly for, uh, you know, to get cleaner joins that look like panel lines rather than seams. Um, yeah, um, you'll have shininess from the um, from the glue, which will be difficult to get rid of, really. So next bit, and uh, I already have it in my hand. So little square again, flat area. This is pretty straightforward, uh, really. Uh, so this goes on there. Oh. In just a second, I'm being called. Right after a small interruption, we're back. So, I figured something out. There's a clear part, uh, and as you can see, I've already snipped it in half. Uh, there's a clear part that goes in here uh, to provide a sturdier connection when that goes on top of there. However, I will be gluing that in place, and I need room for my LED cabling to pass, so I won't be using that white bit if I can get away with it. I know I can get away without the top clamp, but to get away with more drilling hassle, um, uh, I hope I can get away with not using the main block as well. Because um, I'll be painting my LEDs green and the actual covers will be green, so it should be fine. Uh, but yeah, I'll be gluing that in place, so if you're not uh, using LEDs, you keep that part there, or if you're using the Bandai ones. Because I think you'll need them then to have a refraction. Um, let's see, so this, basically the little part we made here, onto this, and then this one on the back. Now there is another clear part that goes in here. I will not be using that just yet because I will be painting these separate uh, to give them a nice green hue. Uh, so can't put that in just yet. Uh, I can however continue with the build. Uh, actually might as well get my glue out. And get my dollop of glue in there. Let me glue that. I did not expect a capillary reaction to go that quite that fast, but well, I guess that part's in place now. Um, so, I need to have the guide open here because this is a bit of a fiddly one. So, get that into place. And get that off actually. not glue that one on yet, just leave these separate. So my instant soup, put that to the side. No need for that in shot. Um, boom, 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 boom. Yes, these antennae. So these ones, there's a clear part that goes in here. Again, not mounting that because... Uh, because we're painting those separate with clear paint. It's a, to me a clear green. So that's one. And that's two. I suppose you could have them the other way around if you like that more. And two. There we go. And now I need to get my box of bits because I kept these separate because they're very, very small.
so three little antennae, three exact copies of each other go in here. One oh wait no. No, one's angled to the left, one's angled to the right, so pretty obvious where those go. So make sure they're angled outside. Facing outside like that, and then this one. Which I should have put in first. And there we go. Something like that. So we'll have to do a dog of glue dirt. No, little drops of glue dirt. One there. Go. And that just gives us a nice solid fixture of those antennas. And squeeze them down just a little bit. And there we go. Squeeze these in a bit. There we go. So normally clear part in here then and <coughs> then that would go together like that. But Again, because I'm doing clear part separate and LEDs, put these to the side for now. Okay, set the box out. There we go. Uh, what next? What next? The big one. So, the big one. Uh, Ready to attach this wing. It's mirror companion, attaches in the same way which is from the top down, so like so, but immediately loose fit, uh, very loose fit, very very loose fit, so you can already guess what's happening now. just leave that to sit so again uh, there is a big glass bit that goes in here uh, probably be leaving that wait no it's hollow so I won't be leaving that out because I can't put an LED in there just need uh, so it's this bit here but as you can see drill the hole in there for LED wirings um, other than that, pretty straightforward build. Uh, same, basically same part as we had on the other one, but bigger. Put it on there, like so. And that's that module done. And then that bit would normally go on top of the next big assembly, which is uh, the main body, basically, of the conning tower. So we have this one. Now I need to make sure, yeah, yeah we'll save that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, uh, there is this wing um, that this one, yeah, yeah is it this module? I'm forgetting one on now, yes I am. Uh, so this wing goes like, Hmm. Right, I need to check that out because I forgot about the wing on the little module we just built, so I need to see where that goes. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. So pins facing upward. Oh yeah, this way. So this is fa facing this front. So this bit with the pins on top, pins go in these located holes. There you go. As you can see, there's an empty space there because I ripped out that uh, bit of um, air plastic. But not to worry about that. And since there's no numbers in the instruction manual, I can just glue this in place because there's no build order to this. So this is done then for me. And I can just consider that an LED D chamber, basically. Uh, there. And there. And that's it. That's one sub-assembly done. So this one should be dry enough to work with without really moving that part around. Um, pum, 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 pum. Like I said, it's very, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit more complex than the other ones were. Mm, 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 mm. So we were busy with the big tower. So there's bits that go on the side. These bits go on the side, and you can see there's curve which needs to line up with this curve, so basically. Like that. Oh, do I need to? Oh, so I see. So I need to figure out if I can attach the clear part afterwards. Uh, so that's a bit annoying. That's already clear. I can attach. I can't. I can attach this afterward. Yes, I can. And I think. Yeah. Yeah, I can just attach this afterward uh, and already fix this entire assembly in place. So. Um, this one needs to go on first. This sub assembly just made. Again, glue that down a bit. This one here. And don't forget, if you're not painting this or you're not bothered about putting LEDs in, you can skip this. Most of this malarkey. Been watching Band of Brothers. Uh, anyway, I think that's more or less done. There we go. And there we go. And now we can put the back end on. Which goes down like so, no, so, yeah, like so. I'm going to leave that just this teensy weensy bit squeezed open like so. So I can do this. Ascending, but mistakes happen. Uh, 
And luckily it's in an area with not any detail, so I can send that with a thin stick. Uh, so now we've got that prepared, so we can put these cheek pieces on, like so. Am I missing something? Meant to look like that? A bit odd. Hmm. Okay, apparently they're meant to look like that. There's a little gap here. So I suppose it doesn't really show up on the final model. You can fill that in if you want to. A little thing here, like on that part, there's a a little opening on the back if you want to fill that in and make it smooth you could do uh, <coughs> but it's gonna be in a already pretty crowded area of the model so I don't think you'll really notice so leave a little gap there and screw that way And that's glued that way. So same part here. Clip it in place, leave a little gap. And there. The fact that this overlaps does mean you have an easy access point to get glue in running along there. Now it's that done. Uh, and then there's these little bits uh, that go on the side, of which I ruined one, I'll be honest. So there's a little platform and then this little bit that goes on top. Let me make that some shot. So a little platform, a little bit that goes on top. I lost the little bit that goes on top for one of them. Uh, so I'll show you how it looks in a minute. So it is supposed to move around, but to be honest, I'm going to glue it in place because it might ping off. Not that tight of a fit, no poly cap fits, sadly. Anywhere on this model. Um, So this is the replacement bit I made. Uh, idea is antenna or uh, antenna or little sort of warning light thing. Yeah, like that. Right. Like so. There we go. Because I'm planning on doing antenna cabling all over this ship, so I might, you know, uh, draw a connected to that one or something like that. Uh, actually, that's exactly what I'm going to do, probably. So a bit of glue in there. There we go. That's another part. And then you've got a gun island uh, on both sides. It's not really a turret, uh, no, island's not really in the proper word for it either, but oh well. So instructions are calling it out to add it later it seems, let me look a bit further. Mm, 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 mm. This makes no sense for the instructions to do this, but apparently they will do. Uh, 
Yeah, I already pre-made one of these. Let's show how the other's made. Again, do the box of bits. And this is one that I pre-made. Which means the other one's in here. Those are the bits you get to make it. Now I won't be placing all cannons up front because I want to do something special and I want to be able to reach them all because but because of the placement of these uh, I won't be bothering with that. Uh, so the way they assemble, slot here, locator slots. So this is the the opening faces up so Guns need to be facing up, so logically put them in that way and slide it in. And it's a pretty tight fit, so um, I might do a bit of glue just to tidy that up. And glue on my hand there, that's not good. And there we go. This one again because I got most in my hand. And there we go. And then these very simply go on the sides. I think that's the idea. Okay, so you will definitely have to need to glue in these because it leaves a nasty gap because it's not perfectly flush fit. So you need to do that. So that leaves it susceptible to wiggling. So what I'm going to do is need that gap open. Glue. And then just squeeze it that way. And that way there's no gap visible. And there we go. Glue there. And my replacement bit hasn't completely dried, so I need to be careful so that stays aligned as well while I'm moving this around. And then the other side, put it in there. Huh, this one fits flush. There we go, now it fits flush. I would have been old had Bandai made a mistake like that. And there we go, glue to tidy things up. And I am not entirely sure, but I think that's about all we can do for now. Or are there more turrets to add on? Yes, there are more turrets to add on. Uh, so, uh, I'll also show you how to make these uh, while I'm at it. So... These? No, it's not. Huh. What is it, these? So get these turrets out of the way and show them how you show you how they're made I figure out how this goes so this is another gun that goes on the island locator pin that needs to be movable one so just 
put it into place like that. But we're going to paint it separately because it's a movable one. And do do do. How to make the other movable one that easy. So there's a slot here. This is uh, a pin faces downward, of course. And just put these in and squeeze it down. Nice tight fit. Can do with glue if you want to. And then the way I do that, I'll bump the camera there. I do that is from the back, like so. Drop it. And there we go. It's another one of those rotating guns made. So now for the big little domes that go on here and on one other place on the tower. So don't worry about the turret placement because we will be doing that once everything's painted. So. Basically, you get two halves, like so. Place them in. Again, other side, same idea. Place them in. Now, I do find you want to be gluing these to get a nice fit. Just a little bit. There you go. That's another one that was made. As you can see, it's all pretty straightforward. And then there's the little turrets that go on here and several other places on the ship. And those, again, uh, same principle as the bigger ones, uh, as some of the other ones. Pointy bits. Uh, the pointy bits face downward, I think. Yeah. The pointy bits on the foot here. Like See, there's a pointy bit there, and that faces downward, so this is up. A little connect with a little pin on the bottom there, and they go in that way. Oh, wait, no, is it pointy bit facing up? Struggling here, nope, I was right, pointy bit facing down, and there you go. And again, you can put a bit of glue in the back if you want, like so. Mm. So I already need a different model turret, so I need to show you guys. Oh yeah, and then there's the big cousin of those, just made, uh, which go on the side of the ship. Uh, let's get that. They go on here, on these little slots here where my pinky is, and there you go, pointy bit. And this is how it slots in. So this side slots in, this is up, pointy bit facing down, slot it in. And then again, uh, glue from behind if you want. So. And that's basically how you make most of the turrets. There's a little... Uh, bits um, that go elsewhere as well uh, but those are little mini turrets in themselves so you don't really need to worry about how they're made uh, and where they're going you know I'll show that in final assembly uh, I think that's what about all we can do uh, considering uh, my paint plans um, so I'm not going to discuss the chimney because, you know, uh, we already discussed that's in two parts. Uh, you've got the red part, you've got the grey part, and the red part goes around the grey part. So, but yeah, and those need to be painted first before assembly because uh, I, I cannot be bothered masking. Uh, let's see, are there other things? Uh, yeah, this antenna. Pin hole because it's an antenna fill a hole with glue got 
drop in there. And then this is how it works, basically. There you go. And then I'm done. Leave that to dry. Uh, and then there's the antennas that go on the sides. Might as well start placing those as well. Not the best of fits if we don't know. Oh wait, no, are these engine antennas? These might be engine antennas. Because they've got little Right, I need to figure this out. Uh, uh, these are the engine antennas. Mm. Okay then, that's not such a flush fit. Definitely going to need a bit of glue and see if we can fix that. So, such a shoddy fit though on that end. Uh, I'm checking the manual now. No, I am right, it is these. Blah. It's not fun. Don't really look that good, to be honest. Uh, uh, so I don't know how that one works. So. Let's go for some more little bits uh, we can show off what they are made. Not lost said little bits. Um <laughs> oh yeah, tiny turrets. Tiny turrets. Nearly forgot about those tiny turrets. My box of beats. Z box of beats. Just one part. Two parts. There we go. Oh yeah, no, I nearly forgot a pretty big bit about this. So this is like, um, what is it? So remember this little in-between uh, part where you had to squeeze the middle plate? And so this is that again. So two halves, two meter halves and the middle plate. I already glued in this side. Just get the other one on there, like so. together a bit. Uh, now I have forgotten where that one goes. Uh, oh yeah, that one goes like that. So that's the idea behind that one. And I can actually glue it in place already, can't I? So yeah, just glue it in place. Right. 
and then eventually that big back plate with the clear part will go on there as well but as you can see little vision port here so we need to uh, have actually paint have actually <coughs> have the actual uh, clear part painted for that so yeah sorry about forgetting about that one um, 